Anyway, this is hope. Okay, good. This is Julia's album with Paul Reiser. Where is Paul Reiser? Paul. Excuse me, one second. It's a long story. There's no ending. This will help my career. You're not. Oh no, help. I know. It's, uh, no influence. I mean, it's nice talking to you, but you're not helping. Roger's going to help us. This is Paul Reiser. He was on a, you were on a TV show once. Years ago, when you were a child, Roger. Do you know what? When you still had a voice. I will tell you what they had a voice. The other night, somebody said at dinner, as happens often, you're going to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> and I just fell off the ledge. <laughs> just before you this time, doesn't even know. I'm sure. You don't know about yeah. that. Diner, yeah. yes. Diner. I know, I know. You did? Yeah. That's before your time. And I see Barry Levin from the lot here. Loves you. We were bumped into Timothy Daly up here, who, son of a gun, looks exactly the same 30 years later. And I, yes. I, I didn't. So handsome. Very handsome. I didn't enjoy it. Me, so. Yeah. So and you know, Bacon looks and the same. At a certain point, they're just so showing off. <laughs> you and I look the same as 1973, don't we? Paul is so handsome, too, I'd like to yes. say. Not just Kevin. And if it does, and if you don't think so, check your cable connection. <laughs> <laughs> I was 45 when I was born. Is that right? <laughs> You just came out. great. I can relate to it. Tell me, Roger, tell me uh, exactly what did you love most about the album? <laughs> you know what I really liked about this album? That it came out. That was good. These days, really good music does not come out that often. Ah. And this is a great collaboration between the two of you. I've known yeah. Julia a long time. And I did not know prior to Julia meeting you that you were this great pianist. I did, you know, it was a little, uh, I, it was a little secret. But to me, I, I consider this a Julia Fordham album that I was lucky enough to be uh, in there at, uh, from day one. But look, but look but I want turn people it around. Oh, yes. Close up. Is that Tim Daly or Kevin Bacon? No. <laughs> Let me just show you how it would be posed. This is how the album is up at Julia's family. <laughs> in my family, you see it put up that way. Everybody, there's, there's no reason to fight. <laughs> if Simon and Garfunkel had done that, they'd yeah, still be together. You know? Exactly. But I'm, I'm, somebody came over and said, it sounds, it's one of my favorite Julia Fordham albums. I went, That's, that makes me mo pr most proud. Because I was, I, I thought, wouldn't it be terrible if, we, if she trusted me and we ended up and we tanked her entire career. But no, <laughs> we have made something that stands up. So I'm very proud of that. And will you be doing more, more of these collaborations, do you think? Let's, let's see how the uh, rest of the weekend goes. Why the heck not? <laughs> Julia said, as soon as this sells one million <laughs> copies, we are going to work on uh, Unusual Suspects 2. <laughs> so we are close. We're not quite at a million. Right. But with your help, <laughs> with your help, go get... Because you know what? This is, kind of, this is exactly the album. They go on iTunes or Amazon, you get this. You will put this in your car and you'll go around going, it's really great. You know what? I've left that in there for three weeks. It's, it's really great. Wow. I really... And so that's... We don't need everybody to buy this. Right. Just the 400,000 very, you know, um, grown-ups with very good taste. Very with it. Very with it, very hip, that go, God, that's really impactful, good music. Those are the people we need. The others, relax, get whatever you want. You don't have to buy this, but you, 400,000, check this out. Now, Julie performs live a lot. Yes. Uh, over the years, I've seen her quite a lot. And, but, you, had you been performing? No, I haven't. Since my band broke up in eighth grade, uh, yeah. this was my first time out. Uh, yeah, we had a band in eighth grade. Uh, and I thought I wanted to bring, I had the song list still. Uh, Julia did not care to do um, Walk Away Renee or <laughs> Gloria by the Shadows of and Night. No. Don't walk away, Renee. Yeah. But she wouldn't, uh, I she wouldn't do it. Done that. <laughs> now. But uh, no, I had not, and it was quite nerve wracking. We did a couple of shows in LA with a full band and great musicians. Right. It was really fun. And then we came here, and Julia said, uh, you know, there's no band, it'll be just you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> it, it, it was a little bit of pressure, but this was, was, was great. And the audience was, was so supportive and, and uh, attentive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was just saying to somebody, I would sit there and play, and periodically I would get out of myself and go, oh, there's Julia Fornham. She's one of my favorite singers. Are you here too? <laughs> And, and really, to me, these are just the best seats I've ever had for any concert. I'm this close to Julia Fordham as she sings. So you want to do more live performance? Yes, let's do more. All right. Let's do it. Maybe we're come, we may come to New York in May. We'll think yeah. of doing something. You have again. to. We will. Definitely. But first, not unless everybody in America <laughs> buys the Green Angel Suspect. Available on Amazon. Yeah, available on Amazon. And iTunes. iTunes. Just, and it doesn't have to be everybody. And the website. JuliaFordham.com. Go there and we can send you the natural seat. We can sign it. And yes, we can sign it. But, and uh, those of you at home, if you buy it, then tell your friend next to you, they don't have to buy it. If every other person buys it, we consider that a victory as well. And I don't want to end on a serious note, but the song you did for the soldiers mm. is a great song. Unsung Hero Unsung is a song Hero. that's 
It's uh, it's going to be part of a, a Veterans Day special in the end of this year. That yeah, it's a big 11-11 TV special for veterans. Oh, okay. And uh, they've already asked us to do this. Oh, okay. Somebody said it's sort of like the, the entire yellow ribbon of the Afghan uh, of, of the Afghan war. I would, well, I right. we don't want our root for the war to continue, but if somebody needs a song, <laughs> we feel this can do. It. So you know what? It'll be all right. Yeah, it's not, and, and it's really it, yes. what's unique about the song, uh, the, the lyrics that Julia wrote. It's really about the families, and and we've heard from families all over the country who responded to the song in, in ways that are so humbling that, that, that they feel like somebody said to us, you know, we've never we never felt like we've been heard. You know, that they're they really are unsung heroes. Mm -hmm. When your loved ones are away, your children, your husband, your wife is away for years. That is a huge, huge sacrifice. So the fact that this song was written and is soothing some souls out there is very uh, rewarding for us. Mm. It's great. And we tell people, by the way, that uh, the old proceeds from the download of that song go to charity. Mm -hmm. All the charities of military, helping military families. So uh, go do a good thing and we've check out Unsung Heroes. We've done right. something useful. That's great. Thank well, you for your uh, thank you. enthusiasm, Roger. Oh, yeah. Well, we love it. And we'll push it. All right. All right. And then get a full voice and then try it again. Yeah, that'll be good.